Hey guys, in this episode I'm going to be working on the uh, guitar body. I'll start by cutting the neck pocket and I'll route all the cavities in the body and I'll start carving. I always start with uh, routing the neck pocket because the pickup cavities and the bridge uh, really depend on, on the neck pocket. If the neck is, is off by any slight angle, uh, these, these components will have to move or otherwise your strings won't sit across the neck properly. Um, what I'm going to be doing for this one is mounting the neck such that the pickup actually overlaps the, the end of the neck. Um, so what I can do is just route that and I don't really have to worry about this end too much because it's going to be inside the pickup cavity anyways. To cut the neck pocket, uh, the first thing I want to do is soft clamp the neck where I think it's going to be. I've got an idea here where I want the 24th fret and then just from there all I need to do is get it as centered and straight as possible. And the next thing I want to do is clamp a guide and as well on the other side. And I'll just mark the, the end of the neck here. So I'm using a uh, pattern follower bit again here. Um, I'll start with just a light pass and I can clearly see the region that I'll, I'll be routing. We can do a quick test here. That'll do it. It's a bit tight, but it's easier to make it looser than tighter, that's for sure. And I'm shooting for a depth uh, that'll make the bottom of the fret fretboard just sit a little higher than the body, ever so slightly. So just a couple more millimeters to go here. Now let's see how that neck fits. It's looking good. Oh shoot! Now it's starting to look like a guitar. Now using my original drawing, I know exactly where I want to place the pickups and bridge. Um, so I built up a template for the router for routing these pickup cavities. Um, so I can just use the center seam and a square to mark where I'm going to be routing. Now in order to figure out exactly uh, side to side where I want to put these pickups. I'm not just going to center it on the line. I'm going to use the neck as a guideline. Go ahead and route that out. So here's our first pickup cavity, and perfect fit. Now, next one. So here we have the pickup routes. Um, you can also see the, uh, the wiring channel that I routed before I laminated. It looks like it just almost pokes through there, but that'll be easy to get to. So one more thing I have to do with the neck here, trim just that excess off so that it sits right flush up against the uh, neck pickup. Looking good. Now you can see I've built up uh, another template for the control cavity cover, and it's the same as routing pickups. see where the uh, wiring channel is that I put in before. My original drawing had carving lines on it, so I'm just going to trace those onto the body for reference. There, so now we have our carving guidelines. Now before I place and route the bridge, um, 
I'm actually going to screw the neck onto this with neck bolts. So I've marked on the back of the body where I want to put the neck bolts um, based on my diagram. So start drilling those. Now I'll clamp the neck where it should be so that I can uh, drill right into the neck. And I'll finish these holes on the drill press. I'm going to set my depth slot so it lands just barely into the fretboard. So on this body, I've, um, I've marked the extensions of the neck on both sides, and I've marked the full scale length, which is 26 and 3 quarter inch. And I've got a square line there, and I can easily see that it sits right there. And I've got a template that I built for that bridge as well. And I've got all the markings I need now to place and route that. Go. Wow, 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 wow. And I'm ready to route. Now I've reached the uh, desired depth for the front of the bridge cavity. Um, I'm just going to add a spacer block here and continue routing from here back to the second depth. And I'm just going to use a couple dabs of super glue to hold this in place. That should be it for the bridge route. And boom. So here I'm just boring out the cavities for the internal mechanisms of the uh, floating bridge. And I'll clean up that cavity with the router. So here I've built up a rectangular template for the for the spring mechanism for the bridge. Um, I'm just routing that to a depth of 16 millimeters. Take off the clamps. There we have a nice clean square route for our springs. And the only thing left is to drill the holes for the bridge posts. I'm going to go ahead and hammer these into the body. They're going to be sunken in, so even when I'm sanding and finishing, they won't get in the way. Ah, that'll do it. Now, off camera, uh, I've just done a little bit more routing in, in parts of the pickup cavities. Uh, it's to account for the pull pieces and the tabs on the pickups so they can fit pretty well flush with the body. And I've also just deepened the neck pocket slightly um, because the neck was sitting a, li a little too high for my taste. Um, at this point, we're done all of the routing on the body. Um, I'm ready to carve now. And I've got all my guidelines drawn out on here. So I'll just have at it with chisels and files and sandpaper. So I'm pretty much done carving this body. Uh, I've got a bit of sanding to do off camera, but this is a good place to leave the episode. Um, in the next episode, I'll be carving the neck and doing all the fret work.